Alrighty guys, now let's go ahead and code the while chatting method. So while chatting with server and this of course is private void while chatting and we can just go ahead and <laughs> hello caps lock throws IO exception looking good so the first thing we want to do is now that they are connected and they can begin chatting it would be a good idea to oh crap what the heck did I name that um able to type I think was the name of the last one and we might as well set this equal to true so after that just go ahead and throw everything in a do while loop while we did before or like we did before I mean so do while message equals server end. So basically, as long as the server doesn't type end, then you can continue having your guys' uh, conversation. So inside this do while, just go ahead and put try catch. Class not found exception and class not uh, found exception and for this all we have to do is show message and we'll just put something like um, whenever we receive an object that we don't know the type of it it would just be like um, I don't know that object type something like that but anyways what we want to do now is now get to the meat of this tutorial and that is what do we want to happen while you are chatting with someone else well the main thing that we want to do is we already pretty much handled the functionality to send a message now what we want to do is pretty much wait for messages from them to be received and just display it on the screen so set the variable message equal to First of all, we want to turn it into a string input read object. So what this is going to do is whatever they are sending through their stream, which is, of course, the input, as you can see right here, we're going to read whatever they whatever object they sent, treat it as a string and store it in the variable message like that. So now that we have that stored in a variable in order for the user to see it, we just need to throw in show message which basically is a method that we're going to be building that displays it in the main chat window and we'll just go ahead and stick this on a new line so new line plus message pretty much takes the string with a new line behind it because you want each one on a new line and displays it in the chat window so basically whenever you're chatting that's all you have to do make sure that the user is able to type because um, you know you want them to be able to send messages and wait to receive a message and then show it in the show message um, method whenever we do that and guys um, I'm gonna be coding the send message method later on and that's the functionality that lets you send a message so you'll see later on uh, whenever I do that but anyways for right now thank you guys for watching and again one last time this is probably the last time I'm gonna say this if you want any of this completed source code then just go ahead and go to my forum tnbforum.com link below get it all there for free you're welcome so like I said thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later